In this video, I'm going to help you compare ClickBank and Amazon Associates. I'm going to tell you which one is right for you and when you should use each. Let's get started. Hello, YouTube. My name is Alston and welcome to my channel where I help you find success online. Be sure to like, subscribe and ring the bell if you are interested in different tips and tricks and how to make money online. As I just mentioned, I am going to compare the affiliate networks, ClickBank and Amazon. I'm going to define each, help you decide which one's right for you and tell you why you should possibly use both. So what is ClickBank? ClickBank is a place for smaller or lesser known product creators to connect with content creators to help sell products and services. So basically what that means is let's say a, a person like myself, that's a, a entrepreneur, small business owner. I want to create a product that can go out to the masses and help somebody. Maybe I want to create a digital product on how to make money online. Maybe you want to create a product about how to make money online, but you don't have necessarily the, the backing to do that. You don't have the traction, you don't have a following, or even you don't even want to put in the, the time, energy, and effort required to kind of create that, that following. You know that you have a great product to help someone, but you just don't necessarily have that following. ClickBank could be a great opportunity for a product creator to get their message, their product or service out to a large group of people. The great thing about ClickBank is with a little bit of effort, you can get your product uploaded into the network. Obviously there are a little bit of fees associated with it. There's some policies and rules that you have to follow, but for the most part, it is a very seamless process. And because ClickBank is so well known, it's well connected, millions of people around the world are using it. It is seen as a trustworthy platform. It's also one of the oldest sites that are out there with regard to affiliate mar marketing, with regard to affiliate marketing. The good thing about ClickBank is they offer both products and services, and they offer products and services for a wide variety of niches. The most common niches that I found to be used are health, wealth, and relationships. Consequently, those are the most popular niches that are out there and that people are creating content about, but there are tons of other opportunities out there as well. So if you are brand new to ClickBank, definitely check it out, check out the marketplace and look around and see if there's something that jumps out to you that speaks to you. But that's basically what ClickBank is. Now that we have taken a look at ClickBank, let's shift our focus and take a quick look at Amazon Associates. Amazon Associates is the affiliate marketing arm of Amazon.com. Amazon Associates is the largest affiliate networking uh, affiliate program that's out there because Amazon is the largest e-retailer that's out there. Now, the thing with Amazon is you can the thing with Amazon Associates is that you can only promote products that have been approved to be put on, on amazon.com. Uh, unlike ClickBank where just about anyone can join, it's very, very uh, specific to people that are already on Amazon. So that can be good and bad because Amazon has such a strong brand name recognition, you can be sure that people are going to grav gravitate to that. People are going to trust that name when you say click here to see the current price on Amazon or, or whatever. Again, it's the largest affiliate marketing program in the world. You only can buy and you can only be an affiliate marketer for the products and services that are currently listed on Amazon. So let's take a quick look at the difference between ClickBank and Amazon. The biggest difference between ClickBank and Amazon is just about anyone can join ClickBank. As long as you meet the requirements, you have a viable products and service, you can, for the most part, join ClickBank. With Amazon, you have to have a physical product or digital product. Um, depending on, on what you're selling, but it has to be approved by Amazon. It has the, the product has to be at the warehouse. You have to send the products to the warehouse. Uh, you can, the, the good news is you can promote brand name products with Amazon, but the, the draw, the, the downside is that the, um, the commissions are going to be a little bit lower. Um, the other thing too, one of the good things about Amazon is you can actually stack products on top of each other. And basically what that means is let's say you are um, being an affiliate for this battery here. You basically can send someone to buy this battery, but if they buy a battery and a race car and a camera, you can receive a commission off of, off of all of that. With ClickBank, if they click on the link, it only directs them to that product. Now, granted, there are different upsells or can be different upsells within a product, but for the most part, there's no stacking of, 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 um, of products or services with ClickBank. Um, it's not unreasonable, not unheard of for a person to go in thinking they're going to buy one product, but wind up buying something completely different and you get the commission. That's one of the strengths of, of Amazon Associates is that you can send people as long as they click that link and they buy something, you can get the commission. Now, Amazon has changed their commission structure a lot recently, let's say in the last year or so, where you no longer get as much money if someone clicks and buys a product, 
but they wind up buying something different than what they went there for. Um, Quite honestly, you actually get a little bit better tracking with ClickBank. You can see exactly where people are going. You're sending them to one offer versus multiple offers. The other thing with ClickBank is you can actually take advantage of high commission products. Depending on the products or services that you're recommending, some of them have $100, $200, $300, $400 um, commissions. Whereas with Amazon, you might have to stack a number of products together or sell a, a high number of products in a given day in order to meet that, that commission. When to use ClickBank? I recommend using ClickBank for digital products. It's just my personal opinion, but I think ClickBank has a much stronger brand when it comes to digital products versus actually physical products. Uh, for example, uh, if they're selling, let's say a, a weight loss pill, um, because it might not be like FDA approved or, you know, gone through those necessary uh, checks and balances, I'd feel more comfortable getting it through Amazon. That's not to say that Amazon, the the pill that you would get from Amazon would be FDA, FDA approved. I would just feel a little bit more comfortable that it going through a more uh, globally recommend, recognized brand or name. Um, I would actually look for products that also pay a higher commission and products that are lesser known. So products that are high quality, but lesser known, uh, products that pay a higher commission, and digital products are good opportunities for ClickBank. And then now let's quickly talk about when to use Amazon. I would use Amazon if you are promoting physical products. So again, a battery, a camera, a, a monitor. Um, if you are promoting or looking to promote brand names only, there is a benefit to promoting brand names because people see the brand, they know it, they trust it. They have seen it in various different parts. For example, like a Samsung monitor, people are going to be more comfortable buying a Samsung monitor than a monitor that was made by me, quite honestly, because they have seen Samsung. Samsung has been around for uh, 20 years, 30 years, 50 years. Um, also, products that are not offered anywhere else, if there are an exclusive product, for example, Amazon Basics has a, a product line that you can actually uh, be an affiliate and you can market for them. That's obviously not found anywhere else. So that's a good opportunity. Those prices are, those products are a little bit cheaper. Um, it's more of like a, a store brand type thing. Also, if you are looking to sell, let's say, um, an array of products, for example, if, if I was selling a computer, um, if that was my primary uh, program or my primary product that I'm, I'm selling, you also want to include like a mouse, a keyboard, hard drives, anything that has has an entire uh, list of, ex of accessories, easy for me to say, um, that's when I would turn to Amazon because all of it is going to be there in one place. They don't have to jump from uh, three or four different websites in order to uh, get everything that they need. Again, if I was selling like a computer or, or a gaming system, um, I would sell, I would promote a gaming system and then possibly a TV that goes with it, extra controllers and video games and any other accessories, maybe um, uh, battery packs, any other accessories that belong together. Next, again, as I mentioned, um, names. I would also promote Amazon in general just because of the name recognition. People know Amazon. When you, when you say Amazon.com or I bought something from Amazon, people from anywhere in the world automatically know exactly what you're talking about. You may not have that same uh, strength, that, that name recognition when you come to products sold on ClickBank because there are individual products uh, instead of a, an entire um, e-retailer. Uh, in my opinion, you should use both ClickBank and Amazon to promote products. You shouldn't have to use one or the other. Use them both in conjunction. Uh, a good example is let's say you are in the make money online niche and you want to tell people, hey, in, in order to create content, use YouTube videos. Um, on ClickBank, there could be an affiliate marketing course to help people learn more about affiliate marketing. And then you could also recommend them to uh, Amazon to buy a camera, uh, a, a monitor, computer, anything that is required in order for them to get started with affiliate marketing that's a physical, physical product. If you wanna learn everything that I know about affiliate marketing, click the first link in the description. In addition to learning everything that I know, you will also receive a free email marketing guide. If you know anything about me, you know that I am a huge proponent of starting email marketing right away. The reason why I love and, and recommend and promote email marketing is because email marketing actually converts much higher than the other marketing types. It takes between five and 12 touch points before a customer becomes a buyer and you can retarget them for other products and services that you're promoting. So Click that first link in the description to learn everything that I know about affiliate marketing, and you'll also get a free email marketing guide. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.